We are here with Lisa White. Lisa is the Director of Education and Outreach for University of California, Berkeley Museum of Paleontology. She is also the AGU Diversity and Inclusion Advisory Committee Chair and the, on the board of the National Association of Black Geosciences. So welcome, Lisa, to AGU TV. Thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. It's wonderful to be here. Now, you wear a lot of hats, <laughs> and, but uh, they all kind of come together in uh, really trying to make sure that the geosciences are all inclusive. Right. And I've been active in this effort uh, throughout my career and formed a number of collaborative partnerships with teachers, pre-college students, uh, with other universities to really engage youth uh, in geoscience, uh, primarily through field experiences. Now tell us about your, how did you get into geoscience? Right, everyone has a story, everyone <laughs> has a journey. And uh, I started out as an art major in college. I loved photography. I wanted to be the black female Ansel Adams. You know, I was gonna be a nature photographer. So I took a geology class to learn more about how landscapes form. And I was just bitten by the geology bug. So very exciting, sounds like a very interesting career. And you wanna make sure that everyone has that opportunity to get into it. Right, right. In more recent years, uh, I've shifted to more professional development, ways to really redesign frameworks for inclusivity in geoscience and, and think equally about the culture of um, the individual participants and what they bring to science. And you've mentioned that there's some new initiatives that you've been working on in your position here at AGU. Right, right. So as chair of the Diversity and Inclusion Advisory Committee, uh, it's been a very busy two years, two and a half years since the committee um, formed. Uh, and so I really enjoy working very closely with AGU leadership um, to um, really try to apply um, some you know, revised uh, kinds of uh, principles and, and frameworks to make sure that uh, we're really honoring um, the whole of the um, society. Now, are there any specific programs that are coming up? Um, well, uh, on my own uh, side of, of what I do at, at UC Berkeley and working with uh, a number of other partners, uh, I'm directing a new NSF-funded program uh, called Voices, so Voices of Integrating culture in our science and we had a terrific all-day workshop uh, at the beginning of the AGU conference uh, and I've been really inspired this week too by the new um, AGU program uh, that's the Landing Academy and so uh, there are more than a dozen uh, professionals that um, are really intent um, on reshaping departments and programs uh, with justice and equity in mind. And I want to kind of latch on to something that you said about fostering a feeling of belonging. And Because I will say in my personal experience, I, yeah, as a meteorologist, growing up, I didn't see any women that looked like me that were meteorologists. <laughs> right, and that's still a problem. Um, you know, role models matter. I think we've also learned quite a bit about um, mentoring and what it means to to guide someone towards a profession. And and folks can be wonderful allies, you know, even if they're not from the same, you know, ethnic group or uh, the same gender as someone they you know might be advising or mentoring. And so that's why I value my um, role in the National Association of Black Geoscientists and the things that organization does to uh, inspire youth and support uh, the student members with scholarships and do all the kind of mentoring advising that really can make a difference and having someone stick with the field. Well, we appreciate the work that you are doing and we really thank you for joining us here today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me.